What you guys got another video here for you now if your computer has suffered a critical error and it won't boot and you can't get to your desktop to get your data or you're getting a blue screen of death or maybe you had malware or ransomware on there and you've shut the computer down or you're getting some sort of blue screen like this then this video could be for you we're going to share to back up your user profile data by using fabs auto backup pro you could be also caught in a reboot loop here where your system just reboots and it just continuously crashes or gives you a black screen. So let me load up my WinPE disk here and uh, this is going to allow me to get access to my files even though the computer is non-bootable. Now you've seen me make videos on WinPE disk before. If you want to see more videos let me know in the comments section below. Just going to log in here so I can log into my WinPE disk. Now this is sort of a, a live environment which allows you to back up your data. So let me just show you uh, what this is. So you can see here we have got a Windows operating system here, uh, but basically this is classed as a live environment or WinPE uh, environment here. You can see the local disk, which is the corrupt Windows disk, which is in orange. And in blue, we have our external hard drive, which I've now plugged in. So what we're gonna do is open up Fab's Auto Backup 6 Pro and this is going to allow to restore or back up our data or transfer data. Now as soon as we go back up, you'll see that it's selected the WinPE disk as our drive. So we don't want that. So let's use the drop down menu on number one to select our D drive, which is the corrupt Windows drive that won't boot. What we want to back up our data on. So now we can select our users from the user group section. You can see Brightech there, so I'm going to be selecting both of these to back up all the data on those uh, user profiles. And you can see it's selected D Windows there. Now we need to select a backup location. This can be an external drive. So we're going to be plugging in an external drive and uh, go to explore and explore to that location so we can make our backup to there. Okay. So you can see here I have an F disk here, so I'm going to select this one. And I haven't got a, a spare folder, so I'm going to create a new folder and call this backup. And what we're going to do is back up all our content to this location. Now, this is great if you've been hit with malware or anything like that and you can't get onto your system or you're just frightened to turn it on in case it encrypts your data or something like that. So I'm going to go into backup and put a date on it there and select OK. So now you can see we have all our information set so we can go next and from here you can now see we have some information here which we can put ticks in. It automatically puts ticks in on the stuff it can detect like pictures, music, desktop, documents, videos and downloads and desktop wallpaper. But there's loads of other areas you can actually tick as well if you've got stuff installed like Mozilla Firefox, Google Chrome, uh, Chromium or you've got a uh, Safari, Opera or Mal, which is uh, Outlook. You can see here PST files and OST files. IncrediMail, Thunderbird, uh, all that sort of good stuff. Windows Mail, Live Mail, Calendars. You can see here you've got just about everything that you're going to want to back up from that computer. And PC Repair Techs use this all the time. You can see here Network Drive Connections. There's loads of good stuff here as well, which you can back up office activation, Steam download softwares, which is really nice as well. And you've got also extra files and folders, which we can go to next. When we click on the next tab, that will go to that location. Now this is going to allow us to add in additional folders. So if it's got all the normal folders and this, this program hasn't detected areas of stuff that you still want to back up you can add those uh, locations in by adding additional uh, folders there okay now also you've got the optional uh, items as well where you can exclude temp files temporary internet files all the junk stuff that you don't really want you can discard those files or folders okay and even if it's a large folder you can also that now we've got all our selections selecting our stuff and you can see you can purge the old files on the destination if you want to and also you can make a sound when the computer has completed its job or shut the computer down once it's finished which means you can walk away now click on launch and it will then create a backup of all that stuff that you've got on the computer which is non-bootable 
which is really awesome. Now you don't have to be a PC repair tech to use this, but you can see you're gonna to have to have some knowledge to get this into a live environment so you can use it, okay? But pretty much it's really easy to set up and you can also use other methods or other ways to do this as well. So let's take a look at our backup location. So let's just take a look at the backup location here. Drill down to where it says backup 20th of the 5th, 2017 and you can see have a backup log auto backup and also a folder with all your content in now this is going to even allow you to format your windows machine and reinstall it and then you can restore all that content straight back into uh, that computer which is real awesome even if you're non-computer tech it really is easy to do and i hope this one helps you out guys it can be any sort of error where you can back up your data from a non-bootable computer by using this method here okay Hey mate, my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. I will leave all the links in the video description for you. Have a great weekend, and I shall see you again in the next video soon. Bye for now.